CTV science and technology expert. Good to see you, Dan. Thanks for being here. Now, this aircraft uh, set to return, or spacecraft, uh, I guess you would say, is set to return with no passengers. Um, can you recap how we got to this point? Yeah, what a what a journey it's been. This has been like the most dramatic, surprise-filled, happy surprises. I mean, no, there's been no loss of life, life no injuries. Um, but uh, two astronauts went up for, I mean, it's Gilligan's Island all over again. It was supposed to be a three-hour tour, and then they got marooned. Um, instead, these astronauts went up for what was supposed to be an eight-day trip to the International Space Station. Their job was simple, test the spacecraft, fly it up there, park it, get out, spend eight days on the International Space Station, get back in and fly home. But on the way up, it didn't work the way it was supposed to. The thrusters didn't fire the way they were supposed to. And once they got up there, they basically had to restart the thing and then try uh, attaching a second time. They got it to work, they got out, they went into the International Space Station. And ever since then, NASA has been trying to figure out what went wrong. And they have been having such a hard time really nailing down what the issue was and therefore feeling confident that they wouldn't have that issue on the way back. Uh, but they just they decided that the safer thing to do is to not put those lives in jeopardy, not to put the astronauts back in that spacecraft for the flight home until they really know what the issue is with those thrusters. So instead, those astronauts are going to stay on board. They're going to be part of the uh, regular rotation of astronauts. Um, you can bet that those astronauts are thrilled with that. With you know, they'd live to go to space, and so to be told, "Oh, your eight-day trip has been extended to eight months," is great news for them. So they're up there, uh, happy as as clams. And now today, the big game is to watch this spacecraft come back on autopilot, and just imagine the whole time that two astronauts could be on board. And of course, everybody's going to be watching very carefully to see if that spacecraft does the landing as it was supposed to do. Do you think there's any danger that uh, something bad happens? Yeah, but there is there is a, a definite possibility that those thrusters don't operate properly, thereby causing something to not quite go right. When you're coming in to the atmosphere at those kinds of speeds and using a heat shield to slow down, um, if you're at the wrong angle, you're going to have a very bad time. And so uh, if astronauts were involved, uh, that would be much higher stakes. Because there's nobody on board, it's really just a learning exercise. But it will be a little bit haunting if that thing doesn't make it back in one piece, uh, because we'll realize that we dodged a bullet there. Um, but I think everybody's expecting that that spacecraft is going to come in the way it was designed to do. And then the big question is, can uh, Boeing save the reputation of that whole space program, uh, the Starliner spacecraft. I mean, it looks haunted now from, from the number of issues that have come up. They've got to really do a PR campaign to convince people that, no, 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 that was an aberration. We figured it all out and we can do this again. And then to repeat a, another test mission with, with astronauts in the future. But uh, right now, they just need that, that uh, spacecraft to come back in one piece. Yeah, Boeing's had a real PR nightmare over these past uh, year or a couple of years. Many people are questioning yeah. Boeing uh, after all of this as well. Do you think it was ready to handle bringing people into space? I think that there's a lot of pieces that worked against Boeing, and some of it's their own doing. I mean, they've had... Their spacecraft and their, their airplane wings, they're, they're totally separate, basically businesses with the same name. But the fact that they, they had a door come off one of their airplanes in mid-flight uh, is attached to the name Boeing. And here we have a Boeing spacecraft that's not operating properly. And so th that is causing all kinds of PR problems. Once they got up to the International Space Station uh, and the word came out that those astronauts weren't coming back when planned, uh, the media took off the, you know, gave it this sort of stranded in space uh, sort of uh, narrative that wasn't really accurate. Nobody was really stranded. They could have come home anytime they wanted to. Um, but uh, they're stuck in space is such a good story that that sort of became the story everybody told. And so now that's attached to the Boeing name. And so Boeing really, I think it's more a PR problem than an engineering problem. Uh, I think the spacecraft is probably a viable uh Engineering-wise, I think if there's a problem, they can fix it. Uh, this is a, you know, it's just math and science. They, that's easy. But managing public opinion is much harder. And, and so getting everybody to believe that Boeing is a safe uh, avenue is, is going to be the challenge. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, that's our time. Thank you very much for being here, as always. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Dan Riskin is CDV science and technology expert.